I tapped add, so hopefully the magic happens. There he is. What's up, dude? Hey, how are you? Max from Will Dorado joining us today in this virtual big room. Yeah, I'm great. How are you? Man, not so bad. Hanging in there. I was just telling everybody as they trickled in, like I threw my back out this morning. It's been a whole thing, but hey, we're moving. We're onward and upward. I'm sorry. There's nothing like back pain to just literally ruin everything. <laughs> right, right. Well, um, I want to get into chatting about this new record and uh, and that you're working on and chatting about how you've been dealing with quarantine. But do you want to start with a song? How many songs do you want to do, I should ask? It's up to you. I can do as many as you need. Uh, cool. Cool. Three is cool. Let's do three. And uh, Do you want to start with one and then we'll go from there? Yeah, sweet. Cool. Amazing. That sounded great. Max from Will Dorado, thank you once again. Heck yeah. Can I ask what room you're doing this in? I've that's... got like, I've got, um, in, you want to see? Sure. Let's get the tour. <laughs> where I write, uh, mm. in my basement. Yeah. yeah. It's the studio like... setup. I love it. 
my man, my man cave is what my wife says. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to ask because the reverb, you're getting some, well, dude, some I'm good reverb. That on. It just makes everything ah. nicer. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's definitely one of the best sounding uh, Instagram uh, I, interviews we've done. It's, it's my, it's like my uh, courage crutch. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? A little bit oh, yeah. of wetness. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I've done, I think this is the fifth Instagram live interview we've done here at the station, and it still doesn't feel quite normal, I, I think, so. Uh, I, hope it, like, I hope it doesn't ever feel normal. Right, yeah, yeah. It, it feels kind of weird to move forward with any sort of interview without asking, like, how have your last uh, couple of weeks, months been? In yeah, comparison. good. I, I kind of think that, I appreciate you asking, first of all. Um, mm -hmm. I think it all kind of, for me, it, it's on that line of have you had somebody that you love get sick or haven't you? And, and we're kind of on that special train that hasn't had anybody get sick. So we're feeling grateful and, and blessed about that. And uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm honestly just going to have a hard time going back to real life because this has been such, we've, I'm just kicking it at home and <laughs> riding. It just turned spring. I, I haven't been home for that transition of winter to spring and, five years and uh it was kind of special dude i'm not gonna lie it was really it was really fun to see again yeah i mean on one hand there's i mean the the natural order of things you can't be on tour with barnes courtney but also like you're a you're a father and you get to spend this time with your with your children that must be very uh, valuable yeah, yeah i was yeah. thinking about that this morning where you know, hopefully the, the record does well and we get to work it uh but I know I'll always look back and be grateful for getting to spend, because we just had a little one. We got one that turned one in July. So I've almost got mm -hmm. to spend her whole first year with her, uh, yeah. which is special. That is, that is. Congratulations, by the way. Thanks, I dude. should say. Um, this new record that we've been uh, alluding to, um, you've put out a, a handful of EPs, uh, and they sound terrific. And this new single, Surefire, that we're playing uh, on the station, is it fair to call that a single to the new record? Yeah, I would say. I mean, it's going to be on the record, and uh, it's been out for a while. We put it out as a bona fide single, and now we're, you know, working it at radio, so I don't know what else it would be. Yeah. But thanks for playing it. That rocks. That's a special Oh, yeah. Game. Oh, we love it. Um, the new album, do you have any, uh, I haven't stumbled upon any sort of, like, release date or anything. I don't want to pressure you for your secrets, but is there a chance that we can expect this full-length Will Dorado record coming out sometime soon? Yeah, I mean, within the year, I, I don't, the thing that's hard is, I was telling the Mountain Joy dudes the other day on their Instagram deal, it's like, you, you've got to put a, a tour around it, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. to support the release of the record, so it's, it's a little bit hard to know for sure when we can do that, but um, we will definitely put out a bunch of songs before, I just don't know when we're going to start the cycle, but right. soon, Uh so yeah, I'm excited. I think we're going to put out as much as we can even before the album drops itself. We're even going to do, coming up in the next couple of months, a couple just kind of loner songs that aren't going to be on the record. I think we've decided with this COVID thing to just put out as much music as we can. You know, a lot of stuff mm -hmm. doesn't make the EPs, but we've got some songs that we like and, uh, you know, just feel like it's worth giving to people. Yeah, yeah. You do a lot of those um like like stripped down recordings, kinda like we're uh like we're seeing today. The the new one for Surefire or the most recent one for Surefire was just the piano version. I like that yeah. a lot. Thanks. Um what inspires those? Uh a lot of like I mean it kinda starts with not really I mean, you go in wondering how to record the song in the first place. Usually we ride them all with the demo and the heavy majority of the time we just end up following the demo but but sometimes I mean, we've got this song right now two songs in this record one of them we've done literally four versions of and then one of them we're going back and forth since we kind of have this acoustic version of and the other one's this really beautiful soundscapey version and so i think it's it's a fun thing to do to think i mean you just there's kind of no rules anymore. So if a song can go two ways and people will listen to it both times, uh, it's only helping everybody, really. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. Well, we're looking forward to whatever new music we can get from Will Dorado here in the near future. Um, you want to play another one and then we'll go from there? Yeah, I was going to just play you Surefire. Sweet.
I can see it in the future. I can see it in the culture. I see the moon and the sunrise. I see the stars in the morning. I'm black and fair and far. Like the heat in the conscience. I take a walk through the dreamland. Eating on with fire. Beautiful. Thank you once again. <laughs> the song Surefire. Max from Will Dorado joining us today. Um, that's a single that we've been spinning and we've got uh, a, a beautiful music video for that one too that I'd like to touch in on uh, for that song called Surefire. I um, found myself thinking that it looked a little bit familiar, the setting of that. And then I did some digging and found out that that is Frank's in Burbank. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. If true, the same setting that uh, Childish Gambino used for a song that Tom Hanks filmed in, in one of his films. Honestly, um, uh, the drummer and I, Justin, are kind of like, I don't know what you would call us, but we, we had a pretty bona fide freak out over that because we had no idea what the location was going to be and, and maybe did a little bit uh, too much of a hands-off approach to the whole thing <laughs> But we got there and did a walkthrough with the director and looked up on the wall and I was like, hey, Rad, look, Charles Gambino did something in here. And then we went <laughs> home and watched it and we're like, this is literally the better version of what we're going <laughs> to do. I don't think either one of us slept we're like, is this, are we stealing or, I don't know, it, it was it was a terrible night. But luckily, I think it came out somewhat different, but damn, yeah, that was a heavy blow. Uh, but kind of funny. Ho hopefully, hopefully, if he ever sees it, he's not offended. 
Right. I can't imagine that there would be any animosity over it with the same, I mean, the same I, setting. I hadn't seen that video is crazy. Mm -hmm. start multiplying. <laughs> yeah, that was nuts. Yours was in one shot, though. And I think that's impressive, too. Real Birdman style. Yeah, that was like the only direction we really had. So like, it'd be cool to do. Uh, I mean, we're I, you know the tune is just about life going on basically, and and I thought that's kind of the one thing that's consistent for us as a band is we always find time to have breakfast basically, and we, we just know like we're gonna get breakfast today, and whatever happens later, it's kind of every man for himself. Hopefully, you get to eat again, but. We're always at some place having breakfast, and I thought it'd be cool to try and just show like what else is happening in the room around our world as we go to all these different places. But mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I admire your breakfast abilities because I don't think I've eaten a meal <laughs> over the past like couple of months. I don't think I've eaten a meal before noon, which is very unhealthy. I have to take after you. I actually heard today, believe it or not, that it's not so much when you eat, but what it is that you eat first. Because mm -hmm. what you're doing is just breaking your body's fast for the night. Right. So if you go till noon, but don't smash a double cheeseburger or whatever, it's not that big of a deal. That's 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 interesting. I'm going to look that up. Who knows, though, right? Yeah, who's to say? Well, one more thing before we have you play another and then cut you loose, have you get the last word and all. Um, I like to run everybody through a quick lightning round here at the end, just a few rapid yeah. fire questions for you. Question number one, dogs or cats? Uh, cats. If there is a listener or viewer in this case uh, out there who just got a cat and hasn't named that cat yet, what should they name the cat? A tiger. Mm. That leads me to my next question. You have roots in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, did you ever make your way just a little bit south and see Joe Exotic's GW Zoo? Never been there, but I do remember him running for governor. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, that's what a thing. What a trip. All right, keep going. That guy's crazy. All right. Yeah, follow-up question. Do you think Carol Baskin killed her husband? Yeah, definitely. 100%. Where is the first place that you're going to go when all of this is over? Crested Butte, Colorado. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Which leads me to my next question. What is the prettiest American state in terms of geographical outline alone? Idaho. A quick answer too. This is good. This is a very lightning round. Lightning round. Sure. My last question that I like to ask everybody that I have an interview with. Uh, it's the age old question. If you had to, would you rather fight one horse sized duck or 100 duck sized horses? Uh, duck sized horses for sure. The, the tiny, ho yeah, the tiny little horses. That's the wise answer for sure. <laughs> my mom, my mom just signed on. Just, Hi, mom. all right, keep going. All right, that was my last question. We'll have you play another one and then uh, and then cut you loose here. Max, again, from Will Dorado, thanks so much for being here. Man, we appreciate you guys helping us and sharing our music. It really does mean the world to us. So thank our you. pleasure. Hope our you pleasure. and your thanks, family yeah. dude, and good luck with your back, all right? Oh, thank you. All right, later. All right. <laughs> I wish I had a stone to throw at something new, a treasure of my own so I could be. I dropped an anchor in the sand and watched it drag on through the sea. The shackles are off my hands, but I Such a lovely shade of blue. Lift me down, don't pick me up. Give me something that I can touch. Just the way you have loved you all along. The summer came in fast. But it hasn't learned to last. It came to town just to turn me brown in the past. And now I'm freezing in my car as I'm driving under the stars. I 
I've been thinking if life got something to do with all I guess I never learned to choose. Help me down, don't pick me up. Give me something that I can touch just to wake me up. Help me now, don't pick me up. Give my hands a bit of love. Just the way you're all of you while you're gone. Here I am, while you're gone. 